spicy title from a Web. If 3 Atlas is a comet, why would the CIA neither deny nor confirm the existence of records on it? Crazy, crazy, crazy. They didn't tell anything about it. So far, 3 Atlas displayed a number of unexplained features relative to familiar comets, as I listed here. One could have hoped that these puzzles will trigger a healthy scientific debate about the nature of 3 Atlas. Of course, Evil Web, it's what we expect the community, the scientific community, to talk about these, make debates about different possibilities, open minded, questioning. It's at uh, the end, it's what science does questioning, always questioning, so we can have many questions and eventually get the right answer to the questions. It was always like that. The anomalous features include the existence of a prominent anti-jet tail directed at the sun both before and after perihelion. Remember, perihelion is the closest approach to the sun. Before, anti-jet. After, anti-jet. Position of the anti-jet, the sword. Excalibur. Excalibur. Position of the anti-jet, always pointing towards the sun. Do comets do that? No. Never. They have a, a tail, a regular tail. It's like you, you, you go on a high speed mm, train, for instance, and you put the head outside the window and you have long air and the air, the window blows in your head and the air goes ahead from, from you, right? To, the, to your back. It's like, imagine that you put the head on the window there's loads of pressure from the window and your hair, instead of going away from you, it starts forming a needle in front of you, against the wind. It's not normal, man. It's not normal. It's a freaking spaceship. Jeez, man. It's more... Mo At this moment in time, Although they are trying, and I will show you the shenanigans, trying so hard to bury this topic, they can't, man, explain, so they, the, their biggest desire is to bury. So nobody noticed that they can't explain. And at this moment in time, we have much more chances being neutral. You know that I believe it's silent, but now I'm being neutral. Man... We have much more chances that it is alien than that it is natural, man. From all these anomalies. What are you trying to sell us? Man. The geometric alignment to within 8 degrees between the rotation axis of 3 i Atlas at large distance and the sunward direction, always pointing towards the sun, the alignment to within 5 degrees of the orbital plane of 3 Atlas with the ecliptic plane. Like plan, man. Like plan, say it, quacks. Like it was plan. No comet does this. Comets go up, down, or whatever, randomly. This one went exactly near Venus. Mars and, and Jupiter that will be now on 16th of, of March. Moreover, it adjusted in the best position near the Sun, at the perihelion, the right moment to make adjustments. It adjusted to go to the best way, the best place around Jupiter. Where are the Lagrange points? Points where you can deploy probes and they will not be pulled neither to the Sun by gravity, Neither to Jupiter, by Jupiter's gravity. It will, they will be there and do whatever they want. Their things, alien stuff. A freaking spaceship. As well as the prominence of nickel relative to iron in the gas that three Atlas sheds reminiscent of industrially produced nickel alloys. There's nothing in nature that has this amount of nickel. And almost no iron. Nothing. Absolutely nothing except on nature, except what we 
do on earth by an industrial method, the alloys. What are you trying to sell us? And I don't know what to say more. For people not to convince you that he's alien, but at least to think in that possibility. And don't believe blindly in these shenanigans, man. They are lying, man, 100%. It's so annoying, man. And the way they do it, man, they are very hypocrite. With that hypocrisy. At least we say directly, man, I believe it's alien. The fucking spaceship. That's it? No fear, nothing will happen to me. Look, I'm still alive. And good and healthy. I don't care about what people comment and say about me that this or that. I don't care, man. Who cares? People that add nothing to my life, man. Absolutely nothing. Why would I care about people that add nothing to my life? I care about you, that you add me positiveness, you send me news, you warn me about this, we debate things here. We are healthy, mentally healthy. They are the ones that aren't, man. Although they try to do the opposite, they, they change everything. For the, the crowd to think that you and me are the ones that are mentally not good. And it's the opposite, man. We are healthy, man. It's so cool to have this freedom of, of, of expression. So in the last day of the year, 2025, CIA replied to a Freedom of Information Act inquiry by John Greenwald Jr. That it can be neither deny nor confirm the existence or non-existence of records. What? <laughs> <laughs> and the quack of the year 2025 will be delivered to CIA for this phrase. Quote, neither deny nor confirm the existence or non-existence of records. Related to 3i Atlas. Yeah, sure. The response was tweeted here. CIA will neither confirm nor deny the existence or non-existence of records. Pertaining to interstellar object 3i Atlas. Isn't it a comet? Oh, it's an interstellar object. Good. We are moving forward. The fact of documents existing or not existing is classified. We have to respect that. There is a reason why it's classified. Of course it is, man. What do you try to sell us? Man, where, where there's smoke, there's fire. If you classify something, it's because something strong is behind it. That might put in danger the pillars of the institutions. Of a country. It's a freaking spaceship. Says the report that was classified. Man, this is so cool, man. That this information is treated as sensitive enough to be classified by the CIA is surprising. Given that NASA officials stated decisively at the press conference, that cringe press conference, that 3 i Atlas is definitely a comet of natural origin. Wait a moment, he's right. If it's a comet of natural origin, said NASA, and we all believe NASA, don't we? Why it's now classified? It makes no sense. If this conclusion was clear all along to everyone, within government and academia, as NASA officials presented the case, then why would the CIA treat the possible existence of records dealing with a natural comet as sensitive enough to be classified. Why won't be this freaking spaceship classified as well, A.V.? Come on, A.V. The simplest interpretation of CIA response to the request is that some government officials wished to verify that 3i Atlas is not a black swan event, posing a potential threat to society even as comet experts, re experts regard such a possibility as highly unlikely. 
How can you be expert in something that is a freaking spaceship? Are there experts? Call the experts in freaking spaceships. There are none. The only ones that claim they are experts, they are doing everything they can to hide it. By multiplying a small probability for the existence of a threat with its height impact factor on society, the sober conclusion is that such events must be taken seriously and monitored. Under such circumstances, NASA officials were encouraged to deliver the likely scientific interpretation. While at the same time, the serious consideration of a black swan event by the CIA was hidden from public view in order to prevent panic from taking hold for no good reason. You see how they hide it? Wasn't I right all the time? This is a wise policy for mitigating societal unrest or instability of financial markets at the time when the reality of a black swan event is still regarded as highly unlikely. And maybe we will have uh, soon more stuff being uncovered. <laughs> I will not go anywhere. Until 3 Atlas disappear from my views, always here with you. Bam! In order to maintain the public's trust, the neither deny nor confirm is the best way to keep the investigation of Black Swan events hidden from view. Of course, what he's saying here is be aware, AV, be aware, but because if they are doing this now, they will do the same in the future. If the above interpretation is correct, 3i Atlas represents the first case of an astronomical object for which the neither deny nor confirm response was adopted purposely by the intelligence agencies. This is very strong, guys. This is very strong. This paragraph here is very strong. And it's 100% true. It's the first time in human history that an astronomical object that is considered with their words neither to deny nor confirm with a response was adopted by intelligence. It's the first time in history. The question is, why? Why?